I was fed up. I was tired of waking up, driving in traffic, going to work, to go to sleep, to do the same thing every single day and feel like my life was on repeat. I was making money, don't get me wrong, I was making close to $100,000 a year, but it just wasn't for me. I knew that I was destined for more and I knew I had to do more with my life. So I made the decision that I was gonna quit. Before I did that, I was building my business. I discovered my passion of me speaking and inspiring people, motivating people to achieve their goals and sharing my story of how I overcame so many adversities and obstacles to reach the point where I was achieving my goals. The first thing I did was I developed a growth mindset. When I developed that growth mindset, it allowed me to look at life from a whole. Not to just focus on the bad things that are happening to me or the things that's happening right now, but look at life from the bigger picture because there's more going on outside of the bottle. Because when you're in the inside of the bottle, it's hard for you to read the label. And the fastest way to develop a growth mindset is be conscious of the things that you're intaking. So that goes with the books you're reading, the conversations that you're having, even the content that you watch. Make sure that you're intaking things that are gonna be beneficial to you and your growth. After developing a growth mindset, you need to identify your why. My why was bigger than me, it was much bigger than me. It was me wanting to change the world, helping other people achieve their goals and reach their fullest potential. And I feel like that's my passion and purpose in life right now. So I want you to identify your why. Think about that thing that's much bigger than you. You don't have to say you wanna change the world. Maybe it's something you wanna change for your family or just something you wanna change for yourself. It's something that you have to prove to yourself. It's something that you really have a close tie to. So identify your why. And after identifying my why, I designed my blueprint. I like to call this my life blueprint because you look at a building when it's being built, they have this blueprint of how everything is gonna be laid out. But on the inside of it, you have plumbing, you have all the electrical, all the things that's going on within that you don't see. So when I design my blueprint, I think about the things I need to take care of for me, the things that are within me, like your loyalty, your work ethic, your discipline, all these small things develop your blueprint. Even if it seems so far out of reach, I want you to visualize it and really see yourself doing it. We're gonna talk about it a little bit more in this video later, but I want you to visualize it first. Visualize the best version of yourself. Once you laid out your blueprint, you must fully commit. Think about when you go to a pool, you stick in one foot first. You're trying to figure out like, ah, I wanna check the temperature first. No, you need to dive all the way in. If you fully committed to yourself, you dive all the way in, you trust yourself, you believe in yourself. Identify that thing that you wanna do. Identify the goals that you wanna achieve. And as you identify those things, you say, all right, this is how I'm gonna get there. I'm fully committed to do whatever it is that's needed for me to get to that point. And you've heard this before, talking about setting your goals. You must set goals, of course, we know that. But what type of goals do you need to set? You need to set sequential goals. Think about a baseball diamond. When you go, you at bat. You right there, you at home play. You wanna make it back to home. You wanna set those short-term, mid-term, long-term goals that all align with one another. What things do you need to do today in order to achieve your goals for the week, to achieve your goals for the month, to achieve your goals for the year? You need to hold yourself accountable and achieve your many goals that are gonna help you achieve that long-term goal. Once you set your goals, it's time to do the work. You must take action. And what type of action do you need to take? You need to focus on the small things that you can do every single day to help you achieve those small-term goals, long-term goals. All those small things are gonna make you be productive every single day. What actions do you need to take right now? You know the work that you need to do. You just can't procrastinate. You have to force yourself to get up and do the work. And as you do it slowly over time, it becomes a habit. So apply yourself. If you lack with procrastination, if you're over there putting things off and you don't do it all the time, just get up, do the work. Because most of the time, the things that we don't wanna do, it only takes us five minutes to actually get done. So apply yourself every single day. Do the work that you know you need to do. Choose persistence over perfection. Because you look at this picture perfect life. You see it, you want it to look exactly like that. Most of the time, success isn't achieved that way. Success is an ugly road that has a lot of bumps and a lot of muddy waters. So you must tread through all that stuff. You have to stick through it no matter how hard it may seem, keep pushing through it. That's when you dig deep within. You find that drive, you find that courage. Like what is it that I need to do for right now? That's where you go back to your why. Look at your reasoning for doing this. What is it that you wanna achieve? What is it that you're trying to change? Is it someone's life? Is it the world? Identify that thing for you. Refer back to your why whenever you don't have the courage to keep going. If you follow all these steps that I just mentioned right now, it's not a matter of if, but when it happens for you. But if you're not having patience, you just like, you know what, this is not working for me. I need to go on to something else. Then it's never going to happen. So take note of all the things that I just talked about. I have them all listed right here for you. So that you can apply them every single day and start to make this a natural part of your life. Let me warn you, to do any of these things, to achieve anything great, you must become uncomfortable. 
So I'm gonna post a video right above me right here to help you become a new you, to help you separate from those old beliefs, those thoughts and habits that's been holding you back from reaching your fullest potential. Go ahead and click this video and watch this one so that you could get on track to achieving your goals and become the best version of yourself. Go ahead and enjoy your day. And remember, everybody has greatness within, even you.